I want you to give high five to about two or three people. Welcome them to church. <laughs> give them a smile too. Thank you, thank you, choir. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. With, after obedience, you can sit down with a Jesus smile. And as you sit down, may you never go down in life. In Jesus' name. You look good from here. Wanna see if you were? My name is Pastor Deuri. I belong here. If you are a visitor, I am the pastor in charge of visitors. We shall be connecting after groundbreaking ceremony. And uh, I don't know what to say. I'm married with five children. Wanna see if you were? I will not tell them to start because today is a marathon day. I want to take the shortest time possible. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What else do I want to say about myself? <laughs> if I remember something else, I will let you know. Amen. But I can tell you my mission in life is to live with integrity and to make a difference in the lives of people. Did you do hear that? My, mission, my life's mission statement. To live with integrity <clears throat> and to make a difference in the lives of people. Amen. Sasa munanijua. I'm happy. I appreciate Bishop and the leadership of this church for the opportunity to stand before here and speak to the people of God. And this K is a good church. Tell your neighbor that this is a good church. Hakuna mwenye anakujanga huko anapotea. Kwa sababu hii ni kanisa mzu. This is a good church. <clears throat> Many of the people who come. Okay, people leave, but... They live when they are going to different cities or estates. And people come from far, by the way. We have home cells in Mobasa Road, in Gong Road, in Muranga, in Zika, whatever. Why do you think so? Because this is a good? Because it's a good church. So I'm happy to be speaking to you. And I hope I will be a blessing. Say amen. <laughs> Some have not said there is a mzee who went to a mainstream church. Eh? Unajua wale church. Zile church. Sita kuambia ni gani. And then he was told not to shout amen. To behave. Not to say hallelujah. Just to be a good person in church. <laughs> and uh, he had come to visit his son and daughter-in-law. And so he was promised a shoe. A pair of shoe. If he will behave. <laughs> and he behaved <laughs> for some time. But the word ikaingia sana. And then he wo she just shouted, shoe or without shoe, hallelujah! <laughs> so who has promised you a, a pair of shoe? Kuna mtu? Akuna Amen. My message today, how to fight and win the battles of life. Uh, this week I've fought many battles. Many, many, many. I don't know why they, I was fighting. One after another. He ni memaliza. Ingine, ingine. So when I was asked to come and speak, I thought the best thing to speak about is battles. One as we sana. Because sometimes when God wants to speak to his people, he passes. Can I give you a testimony? <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. My mother was a staunch Catholic. It's not in my notes. Wale ampao wa mizizi, eh? You know them. So nobody could remove her from there. And she, was, she would say that Jesus died for everybody. So everybody is born again. And you know, being our senior, we could not. So, ndama ya neighbor, ni ngombe ama ni dama, ilikuja kwa shaba yetu. And then, as she was trying to beat it out of the, the shamba, ikamugeuka, na ikamumiza mugu. Uh, now, I'm cutting the whole story short because of time. Uh, she went to many hospitals in Nyandarwa, even beyond Nyandarwa. I come from Nyandarwa. Now, but one day she attended, she visited my brother in Kirinyaga. And so she attended, attended a crusade. And the speaker, uh, when she, the speaker was speaking, uh, a word of knowledge came. That there was a woman at the back because, as I have told you, she was not a Pentecostal person. She couldn't be. 
where you are seated at the back. Somebody is suffering. And then that pain was put upon the speaker. So she said, there is a woman and you are at the back. And the pain you have gone through for a whole year, it is now on my leg. So kindly ran here. And she ran, she came, she was assisted. And she was prayed for. And the pain got out, away, out of the speaker's, the preacher's leg. And nobody prayed for my mother to get saved. From there now she started saying, how can you be healed and not get saved? <laughs> so sometimes God can come for you in a way that you do not expect. But why was I saying that? Oh, I know now. I know why. <laughs> I have gone through fights and battles. So when I was asked to speak, what else would I speak about? Say fights. And I believe that what I was going through, maybe many of you, are going through. So, I believe I will be a, a blessing. Amen. Amen. Say hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> or oh, there is a shoe. <laughs> now, uh, uh, Ecclesiastes 3, verse 88. Sorry, not 88. You know the bishop is here. <laughs> and it is not easy to preach when the person who ordained you is there. <laughs> Come and get there in his house. So, Nikizema, Ecclesiastes 380, and you know there is no 88. Please, Munanui Arabia. Nisawa. It is Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 8b, not 88. I was also wondering where 88 has come from. So, you are not wondering alone. I was also wondering. A time for war. And a time for peace. If you read from verse 1, the Bible says there is a time for everything. And I, so there is a time for war and a time for peace. First Timothy, chapter 6, it is for those that are writing. And I've always told you that if it is not on paper, it is what? Shout. If it is not on paper, it is vapor. After this, you will not be remembering anything. You will only be remembering me. <laughs> the way I look. Some of you, I look handsome. <laughs> Others, I don't look handsome. Okay, <laughs> you are not Monica. <laughs> when, when, I was, <laughs> when I was a boy, a small boy, I used to be very brown. <laughs> like Washo. Can you see Pastor Washo? I used to be like her. <laughs> so if you don't like me today, please forgive me. Nifita ya Maisha. Uh, 1 Timothy 6, 12. Fight the good fight of faith. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life, to which you are also called, and have confessed the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. But my point is, fight the, the good fight of faith. Because for you to lay hold on eternal life, you have to fight. You know, personally, when I got born again, Kuna mambo mengi sana alikuwa nafanyika katika maisha yangu. Mengi, mengi, mengi. <laughs> because we are mixed, I will not tell you. But if you are all adults, I would tell you <laughs> some. Ama niseme. Ama niseme. But mambo mengi alikuwa nafanyika. So, when I bought God born again, I thought life is, and even the evangelists that were speaking to us those days, they would tell us, come to Jesus and things will be nye. Where? I later realized you have to fight to get eternal. Even to remain saved, by the way. Yes. To remain saved, you have to fight. Yes. Even today. Yes. Even as a pastor. Ah, yeah, another mistake I did. I thought becoming a pastor. <laughs> My ni? Where? Let me tell you. It is not. It is not. So, Psalms 144, verse 1. Bible says, He trains my hands for war and my figures for battle. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war. Ah, you've gone ahead of me. Who trains my hands for war, and my figures for battle. So when I talk about battles, am I in the spirit or not? I am, eh? So life is full of battles. 
Actually, someone said that life is one, full, one long battle. Did you hear that? Like this? One long battle. Life is a fight from the minute you take your first breath upon birth to the moment you exhale your last. Amen? Did you hear that? And I think that's why children cry. Because they have come to this world full of battles. Nakasipolia kanagongwa. Unajua hivyo? Wanaume hawajui. Acha ni wachanue. Kanagongangwa dio kalie. Hallelujah. Halafu mtu akifa tunasemaje? Amepumzi? Why do you think so? Why do we say that? Alafu tunalia. Kwani unalia mtu akipumzika? It is because life is one long long one long battle. Life is like wrestling. One minute you are down. The next minute you are up. Have you watched wrestling? I don't like it myself. But I've watched it. I stuck on Daganya. I've watched it. Lakini inanifanya ngani? I'm not a violent man. <laughs> Only in the spiritual things I'm a, I'm a, violent, a violent man. Uh, but you know what wrestling, eh? One minute you are? Another minute? You are down. That is life now. So life and wrestling have something in common. Amen? However, you must always remember, even though we are fighting, I want you to remember one thing, that you are born to win. I want even to give you an instruction. Okay, an advice, because if you don't take it, you are not offending me. I want you to go and write in your bedroom, somewhere very visible, that you are just right, born to win. Hata kama ni karatazi utaweka tu. I'm a paint, born to win. Why? Because the more you see it, the more you conquer the battles. Because you know you are born to win. Amen. There's somebody called Lakedube. Wengine wanashaga huyu pasta anajua Lakedube aje. Wewe usijali. Lakedube alitoa nyimbo. It was called Born to Suffer. Born? Born to suffer. And that guy lived a life of suffering. Actually, he died at 43 years. 43. I am many years above 43. Hallelujah. And he was assassinated in the streets of his city. Don't you think that's a life of suffering? So when you sing born to suffer, you do what? And that's why I tell you, don't say things are bad. Particularly those of us in business. I know, I know, I know. But we, we, let's not use that language. Unless God is no longer on the throne. Usiniambie mambo ni mabaya. Kwa nini? Yatakuwa mabaya zaidi. Hallelujah. Because when he said he sang born to suffer, what did he do? He suffered. When you, when you sing born to win, you win. Amen. Because life is a battle. And this battle you have to win. Do you know why you have to win? Because Christ won on Calvary. Sio dhabi tu. Unafikiri anga ni dhabi tu walitu wa Korea? Ni mambo mengi jameni. Vita ya maisha. Usiogope. As long as Christ is on the throne, you are going to win. But I want to tell you about a few points. Sita wambia ni gapi ndiyo time ikiisha ni achie hapo. A few points on how to fight and win. Number one, the power of choice. Just write choice for those that are writing. It is in Joshua chapter 24. Joshua made a choice. Actually, Joshua told the people, choose ye, choose ye this day whom you will serve. Whether God or, or the other side. Choose. The power of choice. So what am I telling you? Choose to? Choose to? Yes, choose to win. Choose to? That is the first choice you'll make. Another choice you'll make, choose your battles wisely. Because you don't have to fight every battle that comes your way. Do you have to? Ah, uh vita -uh. zingine. Just ignore them. Amen? Ignore and fight only the most important battles. Or the battles that choose. There are battles that will choose you, by the way. <laughs> Some of the battles I fought this week, they have chosen me. Is it chosen or chosen me? Or chosen me? I went to America, but I'm still Kikuyu. <laughs> 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 
chosen, eh? Yeah. Some battles will choose you. You have no choice but to fight. But those battles that, that like, now, personally, let me tell you about my life. I told you about my life's mission. Me, I gave up some of, most of my rights, like a right to be offended. I gave it up. nini. Actually, I'm reminded of Jesus. What he said about somebody hating this side. What do you do? Give him the other side. That is somebody that has given up the right to be offended. Amen? Or if he takes my coat, I give him my shirt too. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, there are battles that you just, you just ignore. Don't fight a battle if you gain nothing by winning. Amen? Always ask before you fight, what is in it for me? Did you hear me? What is in it for me? For example, sometimes I, 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 I'm in an argument with somebody. I know I'm right. But he still wants to insist his way. I let it go. Amen? Because what is in it for me at Nikishida? Hakuna Sindio. So, it's about choice. He will win who knows when to fight and when not to. Amen? Something else I, I chose. I chose to forgive even before I am offended. Okuskia yo. Kabran Nikosewe, Nisha Kusamea, my sister. Sheila. Eh, that's what I do. So, wakati utanisamehea, because I, I, I know I will be offended. Somebody will try to offend me, particularly those of you that are drivers in Nairobi. Si tunakuwa offended mara nyingi. Eh, before they offend me, I've already given that up that right. I have forgiven them. Of course, that does not mean I don't rebuke them. If they do wrong, because most of them are younger than me. So I still have a duty towards their lives. Now, wafanya hivi. Wakati mungina nasimamisha gari. No, I don't mean that I don't correct them. I correct and rebuke. But inside me, what is the name of the name? I don't know. 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 Number two. What was my first point? Power of choice. Number two. Involve God. Don't just do it. Do you know Nike? How many people know Nike? You know, you do, eh? What is your maxim? Just do it. Again, they want to come out with Nike. But I can't know how Their maxim is, just do it. Please, don't just do it. Okay? Now the pastor is saying, don't just do it. Involve God. Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. Bible says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. Verse 6. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. Amen? Amen. That, that's what I'm saying. Don't, don't do anything without God. But I'm telling you also from experience. I've tried some things without God. Nazina kuchoma. Nani kukuchoma vizuri. Sama vizuri. Wakati udagudua uko peke yako hamu, hamuko na mungu. Dio utajua, pasa alikuwa nasema ukweli. Uh, for many years I was working in downtown Nairobi. <laughs> downtown is north, is it north or east of Tomboya Street? <laughs> you know it, eh? Now I have I had friends that were doing the same thing. I was in music video production. Uptown. And they would charge their customers four or five times what I was charging. And I would even work better. Sometimes they would charge the customer and bring me the work to do for them. And <laughs> are you getting it? So I thought I would open an office in Uptown. And I did. Let me tell you, I never involved God enough. I prayed, but when I was going to say, I was going to say, I the rent was four times what I was paying in downtown. Within five months, I was almost going broke. 
bankrupt. Unajua ile ya kutangaza hata kwa serikali wewe uko bankrupt. <laughs> Usiitishwe tax, <laughs> usiitishwe mikopo. Hakuna <laughs> mtu aliniambia niifunge na nikarudi wapi? Sema home. <laughs> <laughs> Kuna pali inaitwa home kwa computer si home hapa. <laughs> si unajua home. You go back to the home settings. Hallelujah. Why? What do you think was wrong? Some involving God or a lack of it. I hadn't involved God enough. I never to be sincere with you I never felt a breakthrough. I would pray together with my wife but there was no breakthrough. But I thought this is about me this is not church this is business. So I did what? I went. Bwana asiwe sana. I want to speak to the young guys. I know you are here. You had your service but I know you are here. Don't get into it until you obtain a breakthrough in your heart. Wananielewa? Nyinyi mnaweza kosa kunielewa lakini wao wananiele? Hallelujah. Because marriage is not heaven. Unajua wakati mwingine tunafikiria kuolewa kuolewa ama kuoa ni biguni. <laughs> tuulize yeah tuulize tutakwambia I, I, i once told people in a fellowship that and some of them concluded that i have problems at home <laughs> so walikuja kuniuliza baadaye alikuwa rafiki yangu kuna mashida pahali nikamwambia hapana mimi nataka kuelimisha nyinyi ni watu yangu nataka mjue hata mkiingia kwake haleluya <clears throat> mnanipata ama ama mnipati Colossians 3:15 Is it Colossians or Colossians? Okay, whatever. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which also you are called in one body, and be thankful. I am talking about a breakthrough in your heart. A peace of God. Another another uh, version says, let the peace of God be the empire. Do you know an empire? There is some games that are coming to Kenya some years. African something, eh? Na Kenya from our president to the lowest wamefurahia hiyo kitu sana. So, empire ni free. Let the peace of God be the free. Amen. If you are not at peace, don't dare to move, don't dare to move. Mnanielewa? Usisema umeonekaniwa. <laughs> If you are not at peace, please don't dare to move. Niwaambie ukweli. Hata zile marriages za watu ambao walisikia Mungu kabisa kabisa bado ziko na challenges. Am I right? Na sasa wale ambao hawakumsikia Mungu basi. <laughs> Niambie kutakuwaje. If you dare to move without the empire telling you it is time to move, you will remember me. And unfortunately there is nothing I can do for you. Nikukuombea tu na kujaribu kukushauri. Na mimi huwa naambia watu nikiona kuna ugumu nawaambia fanyeni nini? Of course I am not a pastor to separate. But nikiona kuna mabaya. I have two daughters that are married and I normally tell them I would not want you to come to me in a coffin. You'd rather come to me in in a matatu. Unanielewa? Haleluya. Bwana asifiwe. But I'm talking about peace. Peace. There is a kikuyu saying I told you I'm a kikuyu inasema barat yoshoro <laughs> barat yoshoro means eh can i bring it home in english they say marriage is not a bed of roses okay and if it's a bed of roses even roses have half of thorns amen hallelujah allow me to go to my third point because this is not a marriage seminar <laughs> if it was i would have continued but najua one thing I, i like with god's word is that it has a word for everyone there's somewhere i went we went with men to pray kobozi ruido and it was a time for prayer i had been given a session to lead Instead of leading I found myself talking about marriage. Una unajipata uko off. Naitanga offside. <laughs> Ni wakati wa maombi lakini unaongea kuhusu ndoa. Mpaka na nahurumia naona ninakosea wanaume. Wameniambia niombe hata nimepewa mambo ya kuombea. Unfortunately or fortunately 
after we came back, somebody came to me about two months later. Me zata siku mjua. Akaniambia pastor wewe Mungu alikutumia. My marriage was going to the rocks. We had actually separated. But after you talked in Ruiru, I took a stud. I went. I got her. I brought her. Now we are together. And we are born again. Hata nilikuwa nimeingilia pombe. Mnaelewa? Sasa nikajua mambo ya Mungu si si yangu ni ya nani? Sasa wewe ukiona kama naelekea naelekea pande hiyo sana. <laughs> Labda wewe si yako. Lakini yule anasaidika anaona. Aya number three. Mind your relationships. If you want to fight and win, do what? Mind your relationships. And the first relationship I want to talk about ni parents. How many have ever seen a tree? If you see a tree dying, don't don't I know you have all seen. Unless you don't know what a tree is. <laughs> If you see a tree drying from the leaves. Do you think the leaves have a problem? Where are the problems? The roots. Where are our roots? Our parents. Kindly, mind your relationship with your parents. Some of you think Nairobi has rejected you. It is not about Nairobi. It is not about even the Kenyan economy. It is not about your friends. It is your relation back there. It is your roots. Amen. Mind what? Mind your relationship. The Bible says in Psalms 19:14, I want to teach you something you don't know. I know you have read the Bible to some two or three times. But you might not have seen this. Psalms 19:14. No. That's not what I wanted. Go next. I wanted a scripture that says houses and wealth are the inheritance of fathers. Our good wife comes from the Lord. But houses and, and wealth are the inheritance of fathers. Well, I know you believe me, even though I made a mistake somewhere. It is not Psalms 19. But uh, houses and wealth are the inheritance of fathers. But a good wife comes from, from the Lord. Somebody tell me try to search for that in Google. As a, 19? Oh, I was just... Psalms 19? Or Proverbs? Oh, I'm so sorry. I've always had a problem between Psalms and Proverbs. <laughs> I was right, but wrong. Now, let's read together. House, thank you, ma'am. Ma'am has always been a blessing to me. <laughs> Even when I'm speaking, when I am, li- anyway, let me not, <laughs> I can speak more in her absence. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Houses and the riches are an inheritance from fathers, but a prudent wife is from the Lord. Now, what am I saying? Fathers if I'm trying to put it well so that you understand me. You are you are better than your parents. Are you not? My my mother went up to class 4. And and she tells me she was very bright. But Because she was, there was no other girl in her class so she ran away because she couldn't put it up <laughs> only the, the, the only girl in the class so that's how she left school and went and got married now when she went up to class 4 you can't expect me to be class 4 am i now the level that god has brought me i always tell my children it is a curse for you to get to that level education wise financial wise in many ways all right so the fathers are not going to give you houses and riches don't expect that okay actually most of you including me we help our our parents am i right but the bible is telling us in this scripture that these houses and wealth are the inheritance of your parents when your relationship with your parents is good there is no airlock did you hear me And sometimes they are not good people. I'm not telling you that you go and relate with angels. They have their weaknesses. But when you relate well with your parents, houses and riches are the inheritance of Did you hear that? When your father says, 
I bless you. It is not like your friend saying, I bless you. Alright? Amen? So they will help you when you relate well with your parents. They will help you. You'll be able to conquer these wars. Ephesians 6, 1. Honor your father and mother that you may live long. And this is the first commandment with a promise. You know that. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise. It has a promise of long life and good life. Allow me to say this. Parents are an important cog in the jigsaw of life. Never ignore them. Hata you uncle. My, ma my dad died long. I actually don't have a... Simone Vizuri, Namona took a picture. Simone, I was four years old. But he had a brother. That brother served as our father. And to be honest with you, he was not a good father. <laughs> he was not. One of the things he did, he sold the ancestral land. So you are left. What I would have inherited from my mother, I never got it because he sold it. Can you see that's not a very, very good man? But I served him as a father to his death. Hallelujah. I don't want to tell you more. But I served him as a father. Because that is the father I, I met. With or without being good, I still served him. Actually, I served him more than me and my brothers, we served him more than his own children served him. Even to his death. Tell your neighbor that parents can speak into your future. This is in Genesis chapter 49. We see Jacob telling his children, gather around me, I will tell you your future. Parents can tell you your future. Don't joke around with them. Amen? And your spiritual parents too. Let me tell you something. Do you, <laughs> because they are physical parents they brought you, they are spiritual parents that gave birth to you. In Christ. Right? If you are cast by your father and he died, come to your pastor. He can uncast you. That's the power that your spiritual parents have. He can break that curse. You don't have the man in Kiwa Katoto Kadog, what will you go and kwa Kaburi, wana fanya ile kitu. Labda kuna kitu aliambiwa nini hakufanya, anaenda kufanya kwa Kaburi. Apana, don't. Hata yu ni mifupa sasa. He alienda. Right? Come to your pastor. Na uskuje mkono mtupu. How can you come to your spirit of... <laughs> Hallelujah. Who is our father? Hallelujah. Amen. So when I say that come to your pastor, I'm not telling you to come to me. <laughs> now, I have no time to explain, but my your my relationships with your spouse, you know, kama nimeyongea kidogo, with your friends, amen, with your housemaid, Hallelujah. With the watchman, Juzi, a week ago, or a few days ago, tuliacha maji kwetu, ime on, ilikuwa hakuna maji, so mifereji kabaki on. So najwa what happens, na nekara ka mifereji kanje. So maji ika mwagika, ika mwagika usiku, ika jaka barabara, ndiyo hiyo. Unajua nani ya lituwakoa? Sama watchman. Watchmen, to, uh, sina watchmen, mimi, sijafika yoki wangu, uniombe. <laughs> uniombe, nifike pahali na angaliwa vizuri. <laughs> Lakini, kwa kijijetu, tukona ma watchmen, tumemploe, wana manga manga huko usiku. Hawa ndiyo walikuja. I have seen my friends, my neighbors, wenye wanadiriti vibaya sana na wao. Simply because they are watchmen, wakifika pale kwa gitu, unaona wana haras. I always tell them you are doing wrong. Right? I have, to me, they are friends. Right? So, what in the Simu, consistently at 2 a.m. Iki Simu, unajua sayu wata utaki kusikia Simu. Mirana kabisa. Wana piga iki, wana piga, wana piga, mpaka ikabidi ni chukue. Jiu sasa wali niambia. Kaniambia wewe, henda ufunge maji yako. Kwa kufunga maji yako, 
nikakuta ni flood unajua flood sio hero nino <laughs> bwana yesu asifiwe so my do what your relationships with you hata ukienda kwa hoteli my do your relationship with the person serving you heshimu kazi yake wacha kum unaona vile watu wanamfanya hapana please don't do that even your house girl if you don't believe me go and ask anaman who saved him from lipros unajua lipros ni nini nyinyi mnajua lipros acha vile unajikuna kuna kidogo unafikiria <laughs> unafikiria ati ni corona we <laughs> lipros lipros una, unaanza kukatika vidole za mikono na za miguu kila mtu anajua wewe uko na ukoma sasa ni nani mjakazi ndiye alimsave kwa hiyo haleluya na akakuwa healed na akarudi normal because he and his wife they honored and respected the house girl kwanza hakuwa mjakazi wa kawaida wale wa kulipwa ilikuwa ni kama mtu, mtu ame slave ni slave girl kama shikwa huko kameletwa kwa watu wanaswa sifiwe kuna miujiza yako imepotea kwa sababu ya relationship na hawa hawa wadogo hawa ukikuja kwa wale wakubwa wewe ni mzuri sana ukikuja kwa wale wadogo wewe ni mwingine mimi naitanga hawa watu niwaambie kitu particularly wives and mothers if i come to your house unanipatia na utensils zenye hutumii kwa your husband you are fake kwanza utumie kwa nani kwa your husband nani alilipa dawari? ni mimi hata ndio mnawafanya wachukie chachi sababu sasa akiona <laughs> sitaki kuambia <laughs> haleluya aya number four. is it number four? inaitwa work smart not just hard if you want to conquer if you want to win work take care of your opportunities and seasons all right take care of opportunities i'll tell you something that happened each church yetu pale zimaman some years ago 10 or so years ago or 15 kuna msichana alikuwa employed pande hizi za biodi roka huko alikuwa mwalimu wa, wa hii academy doing quite well maybe not quite well lakini walikubaliana na employer wake ambayo pia alikuwa ameokoka she she will go for prayer and fasting the that weekend that was coming she wanted to go that weekend akaambiwa no wait for the other weekend two weeks to come that's when i will release you to go for prayer and fasting and that when that time came the education officers decided to visit the school the same weekend so when she went to the employer she was told now it's impossible our bosses are coming but she said you told me you promised me i have to pray i'm going to seek my god even praying for this school they had an argument and the employer said then if you have to insist do what go but unfo- but as you come back come back to the office let me know how much i owe you and what you owe us she thought it's a joke she went she prayed and prayed and prayed and fasted and came back on a tuesday because the spirit moved you know what happened a letter she was already sacked but the, the, the person the lady was good he didn't sack but he said just go let me uh, we don't have a vacancy now when the got a vacancy will call you so she came back to church and she had a house in town why i knew this story is because she came to a friend of mine and they would pray and then the friend would share with me and i would see some lack of wisdom she didn't take care of her seasons and opportunities am i right don't go to seek god when it is time to work all right hallelujah force has no place where there is need for skill working smart means not using force but using skill when it is required i studied mechanical engineering There's a place for boats and nuts. If it is too difficult we we put 
No break food. If the nut is too hard, you don't use force. You're going to break the bolt. You know the ladies, when they hear bolts and nuts, it's the same. In a, it's still the same. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. You are right. But before bolts and nuts seminar, there was still say, mechanical engineering. <laughs> the hardest workers are paid the least. The smartest workers are paid the best. Right? Do I need to explain that? When you are building, the hardest workers in what Mikono. The KYMs. You know them? They work the hardest. But who are paid the least? Say KYMs. And the smartest workers in a building, unajua nani? The architect. The one who drew it. She, he or she used what? Say work smart. And she is paid approximately 5% of the total cost. So if the building is costing 10 million, you know how much she will fetch? Fanya hisabuyako. Work smart, not just. Amen. Number five, and this is, was my best. I hope it will be your best. I got a revelation when I was preparing for this. It is called, try not to go alone. Try not to go alone. I'm saying try because sometimes you may try to go with somebody. And then they become difficult. There's a Luo saying, a Luo saying, if you want to go faster, go alone. But if you want to go further, go with others. Am I right, Moses? Luos are very wise. <laughs> I want to tell you something about Luos. I've worked among Luos for some time. There was a time he would come to my office in downtown. Remember the downtown office? He would think I'm Luo because even the corridors. <laughs> but it's because they were most of my customers. <laughs> Luos are, are very united. And they speak with one voice. There are not many in population. But their unity is indescribable. They are not even the first, the, 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 the biggest in the population, or the second, or even the third. I think it's Kikuyu, Luya, Kalejin, and now they are fourth. But because of the unity, because they speak with one, they do things, and they are felt. Am I right? I'm not being tribal. I'm just I'm an example to us. Yet I ask what it to me. <laughs> Hallelujah. When they are not happy, they can turn the country upside down. <laughs> if they are not happy. And our presidents have known that. Even the current president, he will not tell you, but he has known that. When I went to the US two months ago, something happened. There were three days of, you remember? So it happened when I had just landed. And everybody thought that Kenya is burning. I would, when, when they would ask me to speak, to preach, they wanted to hear more about Kenya than about the Bible. <laughs> because of the fear that they thought Kenya was burning. So I would tell them, no, things are in control. They thought I'm just being a good pastor. Praise the name of the Lord. So what am I saying? Try not Get that. Don't go alone. Amen? Amen. They did not give Jomo Kenyatta peace. Neither Moy. Mugina Nikibaki. He had to bring them closer home. What about Uru? Same. Same. Sindio? Hallelujah. What am I saying? As one. Say as one. As one. One thing I like with our bishop is that he's a man of war. Do you agree with me? By the way, when I first met bishop, I was not a member of this church. I thought he's a cool man. <laughs> but he's a man of war. <laughs> Amen? I have never had somebody close to me mention B. Nimeskia M. I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit. 
Hapana. Hapana. It goes for a fighter. But what's my point? As one, si tufanya hivyo jameni. Sasa wewe una plan tukienda ground breaking unaenda. Na wewe ni member wetu. Tunaenda wapi? Sema pale. Pale. Eh mimi nilipitia pale tukitoka maombi na nikaona na nikajua niko hapo. Na nikaweka kasid pahali. Sita break tu mikono mitupu. Na wewe ndio ulinipatia hiyo hekima. Siku kuwa na Unajua ni vizuri kuwa na watu wa hekima. Huyu <laughs> bwana ndio kiongozi wangu. Tukiomba pale alinipatia hekima. Tu... Mnanielewa? Na, si... na ku break ni leo lakini kuna kasafa? Sema as one man. Let's get it from Moses and his kin. Amen. Na kama wewe ni Luo na nimekuwa I know I have not offended Moses. But if you are Luo or you have some Luo connection, nimekuwa fed please. I didn't mean to. Naomba msama. <laughs> But I think I've spoken good of them, eh? I don't want to speak about Psalms 133. But the Bible says in verse 3, that's where God commands a blessing and life forevermore. Where people are united and they are walking together as one. As one. As one. Same man. As one man. Amen. Now. I can see time up. I have two points to go. So acha nimalize next time. Niko tu. <laughs> Bwana asifiwe. Because I still want to ask for an altar call. Kwa wale ambao mmesikia neno na ungependa kupeana maisha yako kwa Yesu, I I always tell the people that Allow me to misbehave kidogo. Unajua mimi ni mwana hapa. Eh When I got born again myself they didn't ask for an altar call so walienda poenda kumaliza kanisa nilifanya nini nilijipeleka nili pale bele nikapiga magoti and uh, it was where i come from the pastor knew me and he knew me as a drunkard <laughs> so he thought i'm drunk i was actually drunk but with the holy spirit So he came and whispered to me na labda akanusa kidogo akasikia hakuna kaharufu nikamwambia nataka kuokoka and i was so much dissolved in alcohol until i had to plead with him the next sunday and nipeleke kwa mto haleluya naye ni mtu mzuri the next at siku goja ile inapangiwa the next sunday nilipeleka wapi kwa mto tafadhali watu walifikiria mimi ni manoki naomba na wewe wacha tufikirie wewe ni manoki kuja tu kuja hata ni sita kuambia uinue mikono kuja wafikiri wewe ni manoki kuja tu hii safari pamoja hii vita huwezi peke yako hii vita tupigane tukiwa pamoja as one sema as one man tafadhali if you are born, not born again come 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 we will not embarrass you angalia your neighbor for me usimuulize maswali mingi muangalie tu <laughs> kama anahitaji kuleta mlete kama unaona anahitaji kuleta mfanye nini? Mleta kwa sababu nao kuja hapa bila msifikirie kama mimi pasta wa miaka kumi na kitu mnaona nasema the badala ya za hapa. <laughs> na mtu mwenye hajaokoka mlete tu msidikishe tafadhali. Haya basi tukimaliza kuna wachungaji wengi hapa. Kuja kwa moja umshike mkono. Umwambie nataka kuokoka. Amen. Thank you very much. I have enjoyed preaching to you even in the hottest of the suns. Hallelujah. You have been good students. You have all passed with A's. But when I went to America I met there is an A minus. Uh, no, an A plus. You want to make it an A plus? Go and do. Look at your neighbor. Tell her or him, go and do. Don't just be a hearer, but go and your A will become a what? An A plus. May the Lord bless you.